Ow! That is a car underwater. No! What was that? What was that? Hey guys, this week was really cool because we visited a place called Lake Phoenix. And the reason we went there was to take the next steps for Landon scuba certification. So we get to Lake Phoenix and on the first day, the kids are instantly having a blast. They're exploring, they're catching bugs. And I took the kids down to the lake while Landon got ready for his scuba certification. Yeah. yeah, I can. What's up, guys? We are here at Lake Phoenix in Virginia. And there's a call under the lake. There's a car under the water. Basically, Landon is here to complete his scuba certification. And uh, right now he's gearing up. But we're out on the lake for the first time, taking a look at how beautiful it is. It's big, it's really clear. You can see fish underneath the water, just looking down. And you can see some of the sunken obstacles or some of the sunken things that they put down there for the scuba uh, divers to see. So check it out. That is a car underwater that's crazy that doesn't look that far down almost like you could swim down to it if you were not diving really i can do that maybe look here's some of the divers going down right here see him? there's a fish hey a fish there's one of the diving groups right there will you go over to the circle with me to all the circles and yeah. explore the circle. I'm gonna, we'll come with you and we can see all the circles. And we can and go down to the are. bus. So all of these that, buoys are um, things that have been sunken that you dive down to see. See, here's all the things. That's kind of the map. See if there's a helicopter. There is. Mom said there is. Black Hawk helicopter is number 23. All right, yeah. Down here, uh, first where we're going to get it's in. Beautiful it over there. You can see like yeah. You can see the car all the way to the bottom. So the trip was going great. The kids were having a blast. But a couple things happened that kind of made the trip start to take a turn for the worse. The first thing that happened is Carrie dropped her phone. Um, she dropped her phone while she was using it, and it hit literally the only rock in the area and shattered her phone case. So that was the first thing. See the car straight away? Can I go in it? No, you can't go in it. It's really cold. Can me and Levi go see the helicopter? The car. <laughs> yeah. No! What was that? What was that? Goggles. The second thing that happened is Lacey dropped her goggles down into the abyss. Um, we tried to convince the kids, like, go get them, go get them, they're right there, you can jump in. They had their suits on and we didn't. Um, and none of them were warmed up to the water yet, so they couldn't do that. But the third and worst thing that happened was next. We had gotten Landon geared up and left him with his instructor to do his practice. Once he went down underneath and was with the instructors, uh, we took a break for some refreshments and rest at the RV. And when we came back, we found Landon just hysterical. And if you know Landon, this is way out of character for him. He's very calm, he's very collected, but this was not the Landon that we knew. He was crying, he was very visibly upset, and obviously right away we're asking, you know, what's wrong, what's wrong? And one of the instructors came over and had said that he was having some trouble going down, having trouble equalizing. Landon was upset and he shut down completely. Like the other kids were playing in the water and he was sitting out like, I am done. Like I don't want to scuba anymore. Um, a little backstory on the scuba is that Landon 
has been asking for a year. Like, I wanna be scuba certified. I can't wait to be scuba certified. For Christmas last year, he asked for a scuba certification class. So that's like a previous vlog that you may have seen. And he did great. He passed his uh, book work. He did his in pool work perfectly. And this is the last step, like open water practice. And he was not having it. He was ready to quit. Um, we told him, hey man, like you have to make the decision and we can't force you to do it, but you know, you have come all this way and you know, if you want to do it, we'll support you. And if you don't, that's okay too. So he decided like, I am done. I was walking back up to tell the owner of the company, um, yeah, he's done. And they said, you know what? Just take a little bit of time, um, have a snack and we'll revisit this. And I'm really thankful for them because uh, one of the other instructors came over and very patiently talked to him and said, hey man, you know, it's okay. Like I'm, I've been scared too, but you know what's down there is so cool. Like, especially when you go to the ocean and all this stuff. And if you want, we can just go over in this shallow water here and practice just you and me. And he was able to convince Landon um, to do that. And Landon got the courage to retry and um, he got back in. So at, after, you know, wanting to quit, you know, he finished that day of practice and had a good day of practice. How was it, man? Good. What all did you do, like, during that that dive? Um, I made my mask, like, a little bit full and then got it all, all the water out and then all the way full. And I switched from my snorkel to regular, took the regular later out of my mouth and then put it back in. We went to go see the car and then we were like done. That's awesome. And there was a skeleton driving the car. That's awesome. Was, were you scared of any of it? No. And even, I was, even flooding the mask? No. That's it awesome. was, uh, I got it first try. Yeah, man. I did too, but it was like the scariest part for me. Good job, man. Proud of you for getting back in there. The next day we woke up and we had breakfast in the RV. It was incredible. Eggs, bacon, nothing better than that. And then landed with a new sense of pride and determination, headed to the water to do his second and final day of scuba. There he is, Mr. Scuba himself. What's going on today? Um, I'm gonna do three dives and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after today? I'm certified. We've been hearing a bell ring uh, periodically. People are finishing their certification, ringing a bell. So this guy's gonna get a ring in today. shore and what happened next was so cool. <laughs> How you feel man? You look good. He did. He did awesome. You look well accomplished right now man. Tell him what you saw down there. Um basketball court. What? There's bowling balls and we were like playing basketball down there. With them? Yeah. That's awesome. I don't know if you can tell in that video, but there was a moment where he was coming up and I feel it even now, um, where I could just tell like, it was such an emotional journey of like not wanting to do it. And then he did it. And I was so proud of him for pushing through. And I think that, you know, this isn't the last time there's gonna be something hard that he goes through or even the other kids go through. And his ability to push forward 
and be determined and at the end see the fruit of his labor and hard work pay off just filled me with such a sense of pride. I, I almost cried a little bit, but I held it together for him. Nothing wrong with crying, but uh, one more second and um, I would have lost it. I love him so much. I'm proud of him and I'm really excited now because when we go and travel the US this year, there's gonna be a lot of cool places we can scuba together as a family and it's just gonna be incredible. <laughs> Good job, man. Good job. Guys, thanks so much for watching this vlog. If you like this vlog, remember to subscribe below and like this video, share it with your friends. We are gonna continue to document our fun along the way and all the places that we go, and we'd love to have you with us. I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I promise that we will keep you posted.